Hi everyone, Jonathan here and today I'm going to talk about the next tutorial AWS CDK in TypeScript for basic Lambda. Now let's recap on what we wanted to do, shall we? The first thing that we wanted to do is to set up an S3 bucket where a user can deposit files into that bucket for ingestion. Now, once a file is being registered into the S3 bucket, it sends a notification to the Lambda and the Lambda will process the file and perform a ETL into the Aurora DB so that we can actually query our data, we can actually use the data from there. And today, we are going to talk about the Lambda itself. Now, I'm not going into connecting the S3 and the Lambda as yet because that will be a separate video, but we are just going to talk about the basic Lambda for now and you know, from there we will progress. Now, what is a Lambda, AWS Lambda? is a very small computing unit just to perform tasks. And if you look at it from that perspective, it can be used for a variety of applications such as invoking um, predictions uh, from SageMaker endpoints, or it can be just a pipeline, part of a pipeline to do different tasks and objectives for your business use case. And so we are not going to connect S3 and the Lambda itself for now. We are going to talk about deploying a basic Lambda and in future videos, we will connect both the S3 and the Lambda together so that you can see how seamless it can be. So without further ado, let us just go into the code. Okay, so first off, before you even begin writing anything, now you can see although I have some code here, just ignore it. I'm going to pull this up so that we are going to focus on what we need to get started first. Now, before you begin, please install the AWS-Lambda package from AWS in your Node.js application. How do you do that? Just do npm install at AWS-CDK, I'm sorry, slash uh, AWS-Lambda. Now you have to have this, otherwise there is no way you can deploy any Lambda code without this basic package. Once you install this basic package, you also have to make sure the other packages within your NPM is updated. Um, otherwise, uh, you will find deployment cannot be done and there will be errors. So uh, update all those using NPM outdated to see what kind of packages you need to update. Do your NPM update. And of course, do your NPM um, install dash G AWS CDK. Now, when you do this, it installs and updates the AWS CDK backbone uh, into your local machine and this is important um, so that you can get your deployments running smoothly all right after this initial setup we want to you know use a basic lambda template now how do i do that so in my git repo i set up a very basic lambda that you can use at this point lambda function.py very simple it's a lambda handler that takes in event and context. Uh, you can find this code within the AWS official documents themselves. Uh, but once we trigger this Lambda, we are going to return a status code 200. This little code here allows me to invoke the Lambda unit um, directly from my local machine. So I can show you this a little bit because this helps me a lot to debug. And if you're gonna write PyTest, um, this will be very, very helpful uh, in future. We're not going to cover PyTest today, but this is going to be very helpful in future so that you can make sure your code is seamless and workable. So uh, under this stuff here, if I do a Python um, uh, Lambda function, right, it's going to return me status code. This is what you want to see as a return output from the AWS console it themselves. So. Uh, just take note that this is the basic function. Now that you have a basic function, it is time to write infrastructure code. And remember, your infrastructure code rests in the library folder right here. And you can see here, I have the basic Lambda stack. Just click on it. Okay, so this code as well is going to be in my Git repo. Um, as you can see right here, you have the AWS CDK, AWS Lambda right here. I'm using this name basic Lambda stack, just to remind myself, this is a very basic Lambda stack. And then the code here, you can just copy it. From here, you define your function name, 
which I'm gonna call it Yefira Basic Lambda, and my Lambda path is this source Lambda Basic Lambda. Now, this source file is coming from my root. When you start to deploy um, CDK and you want to reference your file directories, always remember that it starts from the root of your folder, which is right here. For my root at this point is the Yefira CDK demo, but for your case, it might be different. So just check accordingly. And from it here is the source Lambda basic Lambda folder, which you can see right here. This is the source Lambda basic Lambda folder. And within it, we have the Lambda function. Now this is the Lambda path, which means I'm asking CDK to pull all my files from this folder as my Lambda package. So this is what it's coming down to. And as you can see right here, I have the handler, I have the Lambda function here. This is the function name, which I've already repeated. And I'm repeating the name itself because I don't see why I need two different names for the same stack. The runtime, of course, based on your um, code requirements, I'm deploying on Python. You might use Node.js, you might use Java, up to you. So my runtime is gonna be Python 3.8. The code itself, as I've spoken, this is the path where it stores my Lambda function and the handler itself right from here you quote the file name without the dot py and you have the and you use the function within which is called the lambda handler as you can see right here right so it's referencing the file as a class oops okay it is actually referencing the file as a class and then you are trying to invoke the function here as part of your um, a computing unit within AWS ecosystem. Now, this is how you write a very basic uh, Lambda stack within AWS ecosystem in CDK. Of course, there are other ways to you know, launch um, uh, functions or Lambda functions. You can actually extract some of these code from S3, uh, but I have not pushed and I'm not gonna push uh, any Lambda code into S3 for now for this tutorial. This is just gonna be a very basic setup in the future, we will be pushing some code repos or code stacks within the uh, S3 itself, and we can deploy some stuff from there. All right, the library folder here, you know, gives you the power to, to, to write out the infrastructure that you want. Now, how then do you execute it? It's under the bin folder. Now, under the bin folder, as you can see right here, I have the S3 bucket stack. This is the original code uh, initially that we first learned how to deploy S3 buckets. The second level is the basic Lambda stack. Now this is again referencing the uh, library folder and then the actual file you know, without the TypeScript because now we, are, we have jumped into TypeScript uh, without the TypeScript um, .ts file uh, type, right? So we have uh, escaped that, we don't need that. So we are referencing the class here from this file, okay? So this is how you start to invoke your infrastructure and deploy, then create the app here. Now the S3, leave it because this is just part of our previous tutorial. This is not used yet. Another time we will talk about it. We can actually export the bucket as an object within CDK, which is gonna be used in future tutorials. Then we deploy the basic Lambda function. Right, so this is going to be a very simple code that you can deploy and use immediately. Now let's start deploying. I'm going to do a npm um, build, a run build uh, nncd. So I'm sorry, it's not not dollar sign, but nncdk synth. Right. So the code is going to compile it into cloud formation code before we can deploy. Now in the previous tutorial, because we only had one stack, it doesn't give us any option. You can do a CDK deploy, it just runs perfectly. But right now, within my code, I have two stacks. One is the basic Lambda stack and the other is the S3 stack. And so you can now choose in what order what you want to deploy. Now, if you have dependencies, CDK will help you to you know ensure that all your dependencies are deployed in proper order. For example, let's say the, the Lambda requires the S3 bucket to be built first before deploying the Lambda. CDK has the power to say, okay, I will not deploy the Lambda first. I will deploy the S3 stack first before deploying the Lambda. Okay, 
But for our use case right here, because I've not specified any dependencies, any relationship between the stacks, I should just run them individually and they can work uh, individually right now. And it's best to experiment all these infrastructure individually because if you're new to CDK, you're new to DevOps, this is how you should start learning. So let me just get into deploying the CDK at this point. I'm going to run uh, CDK deploy basic Lambda stack. Now, because I have multiple profiles within my local machine for AWS, I have to specify my profile right here. And my profile is going to be Yefira US East 2. Okay, I should be correct unless I got my profile name wrong. And let me just deploy. Now, while it's deploying, let me show you my AWS console on the um, browser. So I'll just say, yes, deploy, go for it. As you can see right now, nothing is here, right? Once it finishes deployment, you should see a Lambda right here. So let me just go back to Visual Studio Code and see how it works right now. So right now, CDK is saying that the Lambda is deployed. Let us just go back to the browser to see what happens. Initially, we have a blank screen. If I pre press like refresh here, I should have my basic Lambda up. So it is according to the code that we wrote, right? If I click on here, now how do you know if your Lambda is deployed correctly? Yes, you can see here your code is being pushed into the Lambda ecosystem. And when I deploy Lambdas, I always do an empty test just to make sure that it deploys properly, right? Empty test meaning you have this template right here. I'm gonna do a, a initialization test, okay? And with this initialization test, I will remove all key value pairs here and give an empty payload. Now I can do a uh, save changes. Now this is going to be my initialization test. And if I press test here, what should I see? I should see status code 200, which is the same invocation that I did earlier when I did my local machine execution, right? So this is how I test and you can see that this is running the code, it's gonna be built. And that's how you deploy AWS CDK easily. Now, let us destroy this because I don't really need this code at this point. Let's just go back to the code itself and do a CDK destroy basic Lambda stack profile. And then this is my customized profile. Okay, do you want to delete the Lambda, basic Lambda stack? Yes, I do. So it's destroying. Okay, so it's destroyed right now. And if you go back to the same screen, right? If you go back to the same screen, after you destroy the stack, you should not see anything. If I go back to functions right here, and you can see that suddenly my function name has disappeared. And right now it's not existing in the AWS ecosystem. So this is a very simple way of deploying a basic Lambda stack. It's very useful. Use the template that I provide in the GitHub or just go into the AWS documentation yourself and look into those docs to get your templates, all right? My name is Jonathan and the next time we are going to connect S3 and Lambda and see how they can work seamlessly together whenever you put a file in. I will see you guys in the next video and please subscribe if you like my content. Yeah.